So in this video, we are going to solve question 7 of ISC 2020 Computer Science Theory Paper 1. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. So the question says, design a class convert to find the date and the month from the given day number of a particular year. Example, if the day number is 64 and the year is 2020, then the corresponding date would be March 4, 2020 that is 31 plus 29 plus 4 is equal to 64. And make note that 2020 is a leap year so February has 29 days. Some of the members of the class are given below. The class name is convert data members instant variables that is the private data members are n, d, m, y, n is the integer to store the day number, d is the integer to store the day of the month, m is to integer to store the month and y is the integer to store the year. All right. Then we have the constructor to initialize the data members with legal initial values, void accept to accept the day number and the year, void day to date converts the day number to its corresponding date for a particular year and stores the date in D and month in M, okay? And display displays the month name, date and year. Specify the class convert giving the details of the constructor, void accept, void day to date and void display. Define a main function to create an object and call the functions accordingly to enable the task. So in this question, you have to write the class and write the main to test the class as well. So let's get to coding now. So I will first design a class, okay? And then I will write the main to test. The class name is convert. All right, let's start with the private data members, which are NDMY, private data members, private int n, private int m, private int d, private int y. So n, the day of the year, okay, the month, the day of the month, the year. All right. Next, we move on. We have the constructor. So I'll write the constructor. So I'll write public convert. All right. Does not take any data members. Next is void accept. Right. To accept the day number and the year void accept all right then we have void day to date void day to date and then we have void display the method to display void display all right and since these methods will be called from outside the class so i will make them all public and it is generally recommended you have to keep all the methods in questions like this public so we will start with the constructor give legal initial values to all the data members all right so i'll set them all to zero even if you don't set them to zero, Java gives them default value of zero because the default value of an integer is zero, but it explicitly mentions you in the description of the constructor that constructor to initialize data members with legal initial values. So you have to provide them with initial values. Next is accept to accept the day number and the year. So I will use a scanner to read from the user scanner scanner new scanner system dot in and close the scanner scanner dot close all right what do i need to accept is given day number and the year so ask the user to enter the day number sys out enter the day number of the year all right and i want don't want to change the line after asking this read the day number the year so the day number of the year is stored in n so n is equals to scanner dot next it right. then ask the user 
to enter the year. So sys out enter the year. Okay. Read the value of year y is equal to scanner dot next end. So SF method accepts the value of day number and the year and that's it. And we close the scanner and the method ends. There is nothing more that this method is supposed to do. All right. Then we have the method to convert that converts day to date. So if the input day number is 64 and the year is 2020, so I have to print something like this, March 4, 2020. So there are two things that you need here. First is to check if this year is leap year or not. So I'm going to write private method to check for leap year. Private boolean is leap year. Okay. And the year which I need to check is stored in the value y. So I'm going to check for y here. So if y is divisible by 400 return true. So if y percent 400 is equals to 0, then this is a leap year. Else if it is divisible by 100, it is not a leap year. It is divisible by 100, not a leap year. So if y percent 100 equals to 0 return false finally if if it is divisible by 4 it is a leap year if y divisible by 4 return true so if y percent 4 is equal to 0 i return true finally i return false for all the other years all right and i've kept this private because it is not given in the description of the class right and I would want this method to be used within this class only. And there is another method that we will need here is to convert the month number into the month name. So the method to get the month name. Okay. Private string get month name. Okay. Use a switch case switch m. For case 1, you return Jan URI, okay? Keeping the first letter capitals and rest of them in small case because that is how it is given, okay, in the sample. And similarly, we'll write for all the other cases. So this is the switch case that we will use, cases 1 to 12 for all the months. So moving on, we have two methods left, display and date to date. So I will write display first because it's a lot easier and straightforward. So display the date. So how do you need to display is you print the month name first. So I will type get month name. Then I will add a space. Then the day of the month which is stored in D which is D. Then add a comma, a space and the year. And this is your output. Finally, the day to date method in that we need to complete. Okay, to begin with this method, I will take an, an array to store the days for the months all right so int days is equals to january feb march april may june july august september october november and december okay and i will add a zero in the beginning so that for index one i get the number of days for month and so for the other indices okay so if this is a leap year increment the number of days of Feb by 1. So if is leap year, okay, days of 2 plus plus. All right. Next thing we need to do is keep subtracting the days from the current month. Okay. So set the current month to 1. Okay. So M is equals to 1 as long as the value n is greater than the number of days in current month. Okay. So while n is greater than days of m, okay, remove the days of this month from n. So n 
minus is equals to days of m increment the number of the month by 1 m plus plus all right so basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to remove the days for each month from the given day number all right so finally we are left with the value of d so d is the value in n and so our processing is done so let's just test this now okay so i will create an object of convert 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 equals new convert okay the constructor does not take any arguments and it says define a main function to create an object that we just did and call the functions accordingly to enable the task so the order of calling the functions would be accept so that with the values of n and y then we'll call day to date so that it is able to process the remaining values of d and m and then finally display so call accept to get the value of n and y so convert dot accept then we need to process process the date so the method for that is day to date and then display the results so convert your display all right so let's just test this out the first test case is 64 so 64 is the day number and the year is 2020 and the output is march 4 2020 which is exactly what we accept let let's do a simpler case which is the day number is 31 which is the last day of january and we'll do 2020 and this is january 31 similarly we'll take the case of the leap year we'll take 29th feb which is equals to day number 60 okay and the year is 2020 so this is february 29 2020 let's take a non leap year for the same day number which is 2007 and it is march 1 2007 Let's take somewhere at the end of the year. So I'll take three sixty four for a non leap year. So it will be December thirty, twenty nineteen. So this was the solution, and I hope this was helpful. So please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And thank you for watching.